Whatever happens in our house, it stays in our house. There's only two ways you're going to end up, either dead or in jail. What can you find out for me on a kid named Tyreek St. Patrick? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost video if you're new. Now, today we're going to be talking about Tariq St. Patrick and Davis McLean, a little scene that got released between them. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 2 Ghost, you get them. Now, there's a scene that got leaked with Tariq and Davis. They're talking about what to do with Tasha. It's a pretty short clip, like 30 seconds. But I'm going to play it for y'all real quick and then talk about it. Stay tuned. Now, we can see Davis McLean doesn't really believe anything Tariq and Tasha have to say. He doesn't trust Tariq yet. You know, I think Tariq trusts Davis because Davis seems like a pretty upfront dude. He seems like he's telling him what it is. But Davis McLean does not trust Tariq because it seems like to Davis McLean that Tariq and Tasha haven't told him everything. There's things that he needed to know that he doesn't know because they didn't tell him. So eventually they're gonna have to open their mouth and tell him all types of things about the family. If they really expect him to get Tasha off and get all the charges dropped, they're gonna have to start being a little bit more honest. Davis wants to know what he's missing and what doesn't he know about Tasha because in his eyes it seems like there's a whole bunch of stuff that he doesn't know. You know, he doesn't know how the feds are involved with Tasha and it just seems like a whole bunch of bullshit that Tariq is feeding him and he wants to know the truth. Tariq tells Davis that, look, I don't know why the feds are after my mother, but now that Sax is involved, it seems personal. So this tells Davis that between Sax and Tasha, there's a lot of history and if it got this personal, then something had to have happened. And Davis wants to know exactly what happened between them in order for Sax to come after her like that. Because it was out of the blue. You know, she was getting charged for ghost murder. And then out of nowhere, they put the kingpin statute on her. So Davis is confused at this point. He wants to know every detail. Because if he doesn't know what he needs to know, then he's not going to be able to get Tasha off the way he needs to. I mean, of course, he's capable of lying. He doesn't have to tell the truth really to win because Tamika told Tariq in the first episode, you're going to have to go ahead and find you a lawyer that doesn't need the truth to win. So Tariq is like, what lawyer doesn't need the truth to win? And then he ended up finding Davis McLean. You know, he doesn't really need the truth, but it'll help quite a bit. Now he tells Tariq that we're going to have to assume that Tasha is going to be going before a jury. So we're going to have to get the jury pulled to see exactly how dangerous and crazy your father was. So they're really going to try to make James out to be some huge monster. We've seen in the clip for the next episode that Tasha was saying, my husband, James St. Patrick, was a criminal kingpin drug dealing mother. So we know that they're going to try to blast his name in court. They're going to try to make him seem like he was such a monster and he was so capable of killing, slitting necks, doing all types of things, committing all these killings. They're going to try to make him look so bad to make it seem like he actually was the one that was the kingpin and Tasha wasn't. Because the whole point of this is to prove that Tasha is not the kingpin or queenpin, whatever you want to say, because that's what she's getting charged with. They think that she's basically ghosts as of right now. They think she was running everything and they think she was the head honcho in charge, that she was above Tommy and James. So Method Man is really gonna have to try hard. He's gonna have to do everything he has to do to try to get Tasha off. But like Tariq told him in the first episode, look, if you do this case, everybody's gonna see that you're gonna be the most powerful criminal defense attorney in New York City. So Method Man thought about it for a minute and he thought like, yeah, you are right. So that's why he really wanted to do the case. But now Tariq owes him $450,000 more. But this case really will boost Davis McLean's career. You know, he really will become one of the most respected lawyers in New York City. So that's why he's doing everything he can to get Tasha off. He wants to earn that respect. I mean, yes, it seems like he already has a whole bunch of respect in the city, but he wants to get even more respect. He wants to make sure if people get into trouble that he's the first one that they call. This was an interesting scene between 
Davis and Tariq. I wish we could have got a little bit more, but we're so close to the next episode of Power Book 2. You know, it's coming. It's real quick. You know how fast a week flies by. So we're going to be there before you know it. And then we get to see what happens next in the next installment of Power. And my predictions video for the next episode will be coming out soon. So be on the lookout for that. I got Power Book 2 ghost videos coming the entire time Power Book 2 Season 1 is on. I'm going to be talking about it. You know, multiple videos will be dropping every single week talking about each episode. We're going to break down characters, break down episodes, recaps, reviews. We're going to do it all on this channel. So make sure you guys follow me. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all that Power Book 2 ghost content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.